Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Um, today we're going to be looking at the light bulb anatomy in the topic electric circuits on the website physicsclassroom.com. So uh, this, uh, the main idea is you can tell light bulb anatomy. We're going to get into a little bit of stuff about circuits as well. But we can see that this is a light bulb. You have a little glass bulb on the light bulb. You have a place where it screws into the fixture and then it has this little thing called the base. You notice there's an insulating material here. Okay, that's because inside the bulb, there's a red wire that goes like this. You see one part of it here is attached to the threading, this silver part on the outside. And it goes up and it goes up here and it goes through the thing called the filament, which is where the light is produced. And then it comes from the other side of the filament back down. And it's very careful not to touch the metal. Once it gets down here, it goes in the center of all the metal down and it touches the bottom here. If this wire here were to touch this metal, it would create a short circuit and we wouldn't get the light bulb to work. Okay, so in order to get a light bulb to work, you have to attach one side of a battery. So batteries look something like this, right? You'll see something like that there. And you'll need to touch one side, like the positive side, to either the side or the bottom. In other words, one side of the filament or the other. And the other side of the battery has to touch the other side. Okay, so if uh, you had a setup where the positive was touched to the side and the negative was touched to the bottom, then electricity would flow. We'll get to this later, but conventional current flows out the positive side. Okay, and it would come here, it would touch the side of this. And since uh, the side is a conductor here. It can flow anywhere around here, but remember it can't get to this line because this line's not touching it. So it would go up through this here, back down here, out the bottom, and back to the battery. Now, I say that. I say it's going from here through all this. In reality, as soon as you connect it to it, all the electrons, all the charges in these wires begin to move at once. Okay, so all at once we have uh the the electrons moving in all the different parts but once again the pathway that it takes is from here up there back down and through there okay now keep in mind we could have other setups where the battery is connected to the light but we don't have to use wires to attach them as long as the the high energy electrons that are here I guess really the high energy electrons are here, um, but because we think of positive flow, we tend to think of this as high energy. Anyways, um, as long as those are connected to one side of this filament, it'll push the electrons through the filament. Okay, so we could connect it something like this. Okay. Okay, and then there's the filament. Okay, and then and then we'd need to connect, since we now have the side of it connected to the positive, we need the base of it to be connected to the negative. So we could draw a little wire going around like that. And that would allow the current to flow through here, out through there, and back around like that. Okay? Um, so uh, the first uh, activity We'll, we'll have you uh, recognize situations where the current will flow more as long as one side, as long as the side is connected to either positive or negative, and the base is connected to the opposite side of the battery, then your current can flow. Okay? All right. Then you'll have to determine different setups. This picture comes from a physics classroom. Um, so this, this is the kind of bulb they use. Notice this is just glass. Anytime you see current going through there, you'd say, eh, that's not what's going on. The current will go from here through the filament and out the base. And if it goes through here, it would, it would touch the side here, which would go up through the filament and out the base. If it goes through the side and out the filament, out the base. So if you wanted all three of these to light up, you would go back to your battery here. So it'll have something like this. What it leaves out is the stuff I'm going to draw in green here. Okay, that there's a battery over here. Okay, and the current is flowing like that. 
Okay, so it assumes it's connected to the battery. So once again, you won't see this part. You'll only see the rest of this. You'll have to figure out what's lights up. But the tricky thing is on the last level, you, oh, let me draw the pathway. Because um, in the second level, it has you draw the pathway. So if it was going through all, th all three of these, the pathway would look like this. We'd go in and we'd go through the filament, come out through the base, go up through the filament, go out through the base, go up through the filament, go out through the base. Remember, if it if it if it was touching in a different way, if it was touching like here and then the side, it wouldn't go through the filament. If it's touching side and side, it would just go straight through the side. Okay, let me draw one that's like that. Okay, so if we had um, this set up like this. Okay, and we were had this connected like that and that connected like that. Then the path it would take would be to go through here, it would go out there, and then we just go straight through the side. It wouldn't go through the filament at all. So this one would not turn on. Okay, and that's crucial for the second activity that you might see because um, it would just go straight through the side here. If we were connected to the bottom, then it would go up through and out the bottom. If it's connected to the side here, it will not go through that. So let's say, for example, let me erase some of this uh, pathway here. Okay, for the last level, what you'll see is you'll see it asking you to light up some of the light bulbs, but not other ones. Okay, so let's say this one asks you to light up one and two, but not three. Okay, well, if we want to light up one, so one would it go like this. Okay, so it can't go out A. It has to go out the bottom if it's going to light up. So A is not a possibility. If it goes in the side here and we want this to light up, it has to go out the bottom. So B is not a possibility. But if we don't want C to light up, then we'd connect the bottom of the battery to D. We would not connect it here, and instead we would connect it here, okay? And that would make it go through here. It would go through here, side bottom, side side, it just goes straight through, okay? And D would not light up because it's just going straight through the side here. Remember, only if it's pushed through the filament, which means it's connected to the side and the bottom, that's when it will light up, okay? So this one was forced to go through the side and then the bottom. This was forced to go side and then bottom. This one just went straight side, side, so it did not light up. All right, enjoy puzzling things out on uh, physicsclassroom.com, and thanks for joining us here at the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man.